is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2024 kia soul courtesy of fred beans kia in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we're in the soul because this is an affordable small suv and you do get america's best warranty as well being five years sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100 000 miles on the powertrain that's pretty impressive there so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2024 soul first one being the lx starting at twenty thousand one hundred ninety dollars s for twenty two thousand six hundred ninety dollars gt line which actually is the trim that we have today starting at twenty three thousand seven ninety and lastly the ex going for twenty four thousand four hundred and ninety dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the soul is going to be the same powering the little beast is a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 147 horsepower at 6200 rpm 132 pound feet of torque coming in at 4500 rpm power being sent to the front wheels through an ivt that stands for intelligent variable transmission zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 8.3 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 27 in the city 33 on the highway for all trim levels but the ex for whatever reason the ex is going to give you a little bit better than that coming in at 29 in the city 35 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our kia soul i do want to mention to you guys the drive mode there's actually a little drive mode button located just to the left of the shifter you essentially have normal and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the soul here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 kia soul here up to speed all right found our straightaway here in three two one go no spinning i like that yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with that actually that's plenty fine um yeah you shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway that was a lot better than i was expecting actually so I like it. Well done, Kia Soul. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 11-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.3-inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 stopping distance goes, that comes in at 115 feet. That is a sports sedan number. That was one of the first things I noticed in the Kia Soul. The braking feel is definitely on the firm side of things, and I love it. It's such a brilliant braking feel. It immediately brings you to a stop. So Kia Soul crushing it with the braking on this thing. The touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, coupled torsion beam rear axle, guest pressurized shock absorbers, of course. As far as ride quality goes, that's the other thing I first noticed when I got in this one, is you do tend to feel a good bit of the road. So it is a, a ride quality, uh, like a compact car, a subcompact car even. So good bit of the road, but sometimes that's not something that bothers you. When I was younger, maybe it wouldn't bother me as much. It kind of does now that I'm older though. But anyways, as far as steering feel goes that's really good it does adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in if i can talk when you put it in that sport driving mode it is a heavier feel to the steering when you take it out of there it's a much looser steering feel so it's a little bit something for everybody but hyundai kia genesis they always do a wonderful job with their steering feels and really allowing uh the driver to customize it based upon the drive mode that they put it in so that is pretty cool as far as uh road noise and cabin noise goes you do get a little bit of road noise coming into the cabin again that's not something that bothers me personally so i don't have any issues there and touching our rear visibility of course with the shape of the kia soul you're not going to have any issues there whatsoever so 100 on point but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 kia soul all right so here she is you guys the new 2024 kia soul finished in gravity gray in case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today I think it looks good. They just washed it up for me, so it looks even better because of that. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Soul is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the letter K, indicating that the new 2024 Soul is built and assembled in Korea. 
gotta love it. But starting up front, Kia logo found in that upper portion of the front grille. And one of the cool elements that I think I touched on last year as well, is you guys can kind of see just to the left and to the right of that Kia badging, you got these cool block-like elements that kind of continue onto the headlights a little bit. So that's a pretty cool little design element. I don't know, I kind of just wanted to mention that to start out there, but down to the corners, you guys can see we got front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So a little better aerodynamics there. The front grille is actually gonna differ depending upon the trim level that you go with. I do like the design of the one that we have today. And again, we got the GT line with us here today. So it's gonna be a little bit sportier than most of the other trims, but you're gonna find a matte black front grille with silver trim for the LX and the S trim levels. And then in gloss black front grille, kind of with these silver accents for the GT line and the EX trim levels. And again, GT line specific styling for the GT line that we have today. I'm gonna to keep saying GT line. I don't know, it just amuses me. But multi-reflector halogen headlights come standard for all trim levels across the board. LED headlights that were gonna be optional for the GT line, LED fog lights also optional for that same trim level. There you go, I didn't say it this time. Automatic feature though does come with those headlights as well. So when it starts to get dark out, headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. I think it looks good, but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the sole, rear privacy glass does come standard across the board. Gloss back A-pillar, you guys can see that. That also actually comes standard for all trim levels. Got a little bit of that accenting found on the front fender. I think that looks pretty darn good. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors, and they will actually be heated for the EX trim level only, in case you're curious about that. Then take a look down at the wheel setup, 16 inch steel wheels with covers for the LX, 16 inch alloys for the S trim level, 17 inch alloys for the EX, and lastly, 18 inch alloys on our GT line that we have with us here today. But overall, again, I like that design element to the front fenders. I think that looks pretty darn good. Nice looking side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back, all the way to the top, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Got a center high mount stop lamp to the top as well. You got that rear window wiper found on the uh, rear glass. Got that cool new Kia badging. I guess it isn't new anymore. They switched that up in 2022, but it's still cool to me because it didn't used to be that way. But LED taillights are gonna be optional for the GT line. It don't come standard on any particular trim. Got that uh, trim level badging back there as well. But this is my favorite part. Down below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet that comes standard, but you do get kind of dual exhaust outlets with this massive chrome tip for the GT line that we have with us here today. So. I think that looks dang good. I'm kind of curious what this is gonna sound like when I play it back uh, during the editing. But anyways, you guys do know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the sole here, when it comes to opening that rear liftgate, it is a manual liftgate that does come standard across the board. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 24.2 cubic feet behind that second row at least. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 62.1 cubic feet. That's actually a good bit. Good bit for the segment here. Tie down anchors do come standard. You got some cargo lighting back there as well. The EX trim is gonna add a cargo cover, 12 volt power outlet and a dual level cargo bed. But if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire, which you guys know I personally prefer. But then make your way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 38.8 inches. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the second row there. Rear center armrest with cup holders for the GT line and EX trim levels, gotta love that. Uh, no rear air vents, but that's typically, that never comes standard on uh, on this particular segment. The Civic doesn't have them, the Corolla doesn't have them, uh, the Elantra doesn't have them, everything doesn't have them, so it's pretty standard. Uh, you do have dual USB charging ports though, and that is a rarity, so that was pretty cool finding them. But then making our way up to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seating for the LX and the S trim levels, premium cloth for that EX trim level, and then you got a nice Syntex cloth combination combination for our GT line. So it's kind of like the, the leatherette and cloth combination, basically. 10-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar for the S trim level and up, and then heated front seats for the EX, and they're gonna be optional on the GT line now. But overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was okay. Not the very most comfortable seats out there, but uh, 
they'll get the job done, I suppose. But they're taking a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the GT line and EX trim levels. And then it will be a flat bottom if you were to go with that GT line that we have with us here today. Very cool design to it. I like our particular steering wheel here. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Kia logo on the one side. You got most of your buttons are on the side of the key, the lock, unlock, and the panic button. But that circular button that says hold, that is going to be your remote start. So I love seeing that on there. That was pretty cool. Turnkey start is going to come on the LX, but otherwise you're just going to get a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my from the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of that shifter there. And so what started up, one of my favorite parts of the Kia Soul, full digital gauge cluster does come standard for all trim levels across the board. Absolutely love it. And it is done very well. It's almost a 3D kind of effect to it on the left and right hand side. I think it looks so dang good. But of course the colors do change depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. Normal is going to be kind of this violet hue and then sport is going to be kind of this red hue. But either way it looks dang good. You got how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a digital speedometer. RPMs are going to be on the right. Um, outside temperature is there as well. Trip A, trip B. There's speed limit recognition. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on a digital gauge cluster. So now let's go ahead and make our way to over all interior quality overhead sunglass holder is going to come for all trim levels power sunroof for the gt line and ex trim levels manually adjustable climate control for that lx dual zoom climate control for the s trim level and up wireless phone charger s trim level and up as well and so that wireless phone charger by the way is located just in front of the shifter just below that little level there you got a little bit more of rubberized storage 12 volt power outlet couple usb charging ports behind the shifter you got dual cup holders and within the center armrest that's actually a decent amount of space it goes down pretty deep there but i think the red accents found on the doors those are some pretty cool accents it's kind of a texturized finished on the upper portion here too so i definitely liked that but i think one of my favorite parts is this gigantic infotainment screen front and center so let's take a look at that here 8-inch color touchscreen display is going to come on the LX, but every other trim level is going to give you a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, of course. You got a voice memo system. I always think that is pretty darn cool. There's also quiet mode where it uh, eliminates the rear speakers and then um, puts a limit on the front speakers. So if your kids are sleeping in the back, that's definitely going to help out there. You could check out your climate control information up there as well. There is so much to check out and it's all finished in these really bright cool colors that i really like that looks so dang good but here's one you probably didn't expect a factory navigation system is going to come on the s trim level and up so that is pretty darn cool as well not something that uh, i'm used to seeing on vehicles that are less than twenty-five thousand dollars. that's pretty remarkable actually there's also sound mood lamp lights for the gt line trim level specifically and of course you can check out your radio information up there as well so when it comes to the sound systems uh, six speakers is going to come on all trim levels across the board that comes standard however there is an optional 10 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that is optional for the GT line trim level only so we do have the six speaker sound system with us here today so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one all right so it kind of sounds like six speakers the bass was actually decent Clarity, yeah, it's six speakers. I'm just gonna say that. Um, so not my very favorite sound system out there, but it'll certainly get the job done. And again, the bass was pretty darn good. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the soul in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so IIHS top safety pick with the LED headlights. That's the only way it's an IIHS top safety pick. I wanted to start with that. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection lane keep assist driver attention warning s trim level and up then is going to add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and lane change assist then as well and then adaptive cruise control with stop and go is going to be optional on the gt line and ex trim levels so overall when it comes to my final thoughts
thoughts of the sole. I think the styling is really unique. I love it. It's so different. You can definitely immediately tell you are looking at a sole when you look at it. It doesn't blend into the crowd. So I actually absolutely love that to start out with. Very affordable as well. The fact that the LX trim level starts right at $20,000 basically, and even our GT line trim level is under $24,000 and it comes with a factory navigation system. That's absolutely insane. That's a heck of a value right there. America's best warranty to go along with the value. You get a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Gotta love that. If it were me picking the Soul, I would personally go with the S trim level or higher. Uh, just because that's kind of the sweet spot, that S trim level, because that adds the wireless phone charger, the larger infotainment screen, the alloy wheels, the factory navigation system, blind spot monitoring. That's really the sweet spot for the money. So I would say that digital gauges are absolutely amazing. I can't believe that they come standard on all trim levels. That's brilliant. The only room for improvement I can think of with this one, um, for me especially, because I live in PA and that's where I'm reviewing this car, is I think all wheel drive option would be really, really cool on the Soul. So just because we do get snow from time to time and a heck of a lot of rain, as you guys saw, probably on the visibility clip, all that uh, water moving behind us. So yeah, all wheel drive would be a pretty darn cool option for the Soul. But anyways, that's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Soul in the comments section below. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.